Hey guys, Helping Hands here, and this time I'll be checking out the German faction in World War Commander. Before we jump straight into a match, let's compile a good deck of units to use with our commander. Let's have a look at our troops here. First up we have our commander, Eric von Wagner. One of his abilities is reinforcements, which allows us to call onto the field an MG42 squad and a Panzerjäger 1. As this is the case, we do not really need to add these two units to our deck. Also, he has access to Blitzkrieg, which allows our troops to advance 35% more quickly and deal 50% more damage for a short amount of time. And his last ability is Defensive Artillery, and that means that all enemy units within 30 meters of a HQ or captured points will be bombarded with artillery when this is active for 30 seconds. Right, onto the deck itself. In Tier 1, I've chosen the Jaeger Infantry Squad, the Engineer Squad, and the Opal Blitz Medic Truck. Let's take a look at the Jaeger Squad which I've chosen as my standard infantry unit. They cost twice as much as a standard Volksgrenadier at 80 supply, but they're much better than Volksgrenadiers and worth the extra investment. They're not only effective against infantry, but also light armor as they have armor piercing ammo, which Volks do not. Next up we have the engineers. And although they're not a good fighting unit, it's a very handy in other ways as it can repair damaged structures or vehicles. I wouldn't recommend getting one of these out until you need them. And finally, in tier one, we have the Opal Blitz Medic Truck. Here we go. Now, unlike the American M3 counterpart, the German Medic Truck is available in tier one, which means you can get this out very early in a match. However, it does not come with any weapons to defend itself, and therefore, it is very vulnerable. The Medic Truck can automatically heal and reinforce nearby friendly infantry units when they are out of combat. If you use the truck well, your infantry may never need to retreat all the way back to the HQ, and therefore you can keep your map presence and control. In tier two, I have the MG Half Track, the Wisp, and the trusty Panzer III. The Zonderkartwerk Zeit 251 Hanomag, or MG Half Track, as I like to call it, is a lightly armored mobile vehicle great against enemy infantry or thinly armored targets. It's fairly cheap too as vehicles go, at only 80 supply, the same cost as a Jaeger infantry squad. Next is the Wisp. The Wisp is a self-propelled artillery gun, a great indirect fire unit providing support for both infantry and vehicles alike on the ground. At 700 supply and three population cap. Finally in tier two, we have the Panzer III. A great all-rounder in its tier and what it lacks in firepower, it makes up in durability. And in tier three, we have two tanks, the Panther and the mighty Tiger tank. Let's check out the Panther first. The Panther is, is cheaper than the Tiger and also faster. However, it is less durable. It's very good at hunting down enemy armor. Now the Tiger, on the other hand, has great armor, which will bounce shells from enemy mediums and sometimes even heavy cannons. A true brawler that will be leading the charge against all targets. Right, now we have our deck sorted, let's begin a match. So here we go, we're playing up against this player over here, we're playing up against another Axis player. Let's see how we do here then. So let's call on our Jaeger squads. Then we're going to send this guy straight over here to the left hand side. And we're going to get our engineer there to support. Actually we get the engineer to capture this point here. Now, the problem here I can see is that there is a long time to call in uh, each Jaeger squad, but as they're very good, they will um, be able to dominate the map. However, what, I will, what will happen though is I will lose a bit maybe early map control because of this delay. So we'll just keep making as many Jaegers as we can. Send this Jaeger squad to capture this other point. And we'll get our engineer to cap this point outside our base, actually. So this Jaeger squad is again important to rush the supply points on the middle of the map as we want to try and get the extra income that that will provide. Okay, have another Jaeger squad in a second. Actually what we could do is we could just recruit it and then send him out. So we do that, recruit, grab that squad and just rally them straight forward. Right, you've grabbed that point, brilliant. Let's get you to dive into this house now. Actually, we're not gonna capture the victory point because if we get this house, we completely deny our opponent from coming outside this, of, this side of the map. So two entrances to his base here, so we'll do that. 
We'll jump down here. Engineer squad's finished capturing that. It's moving forward. Let's capture the VP. And now let's take the opportunity in which we have the resources to upgrade this point as well as this point. Okay, we can see our enemy is across the river there. Let's get one, stuff. one more Jaeger squad out. Move them there to assist that left side. And it looks like I'm going to move over there and engage there. Let's try and team up because I'm going to get triple teamed here. So we need to make sure... Um, I'm actually going to move into the sector here to deny, the de deny, him, deny him capping the point. So we'll just try and rush in there quickly. And then we're going to engage. Brilliant. Let's engage that squad there. And then get the engineer to cap over here on the left. Now my next, next unit choice is probably going to be an ambulance. It's going to be the uh, medic truck. The public's medic truck. So I can heal my wounded squads on the field. So I think we might better pick this squad and retreat here. We're getting a lot of firepower. There we go. And I've got a wipe there. Good. All right, let's get this squad to cap here. And uh, we're just needing... Oh, we're actually population capped at the moment because we've got, we're five out of five. So I can't call in uh, actually that ambulance just yet. So we're going to have to lose something or we have to tech up. So I think what I'll do instead is I'll spend the extra resources and all the upgrades that I can do. We'll probably upgrade this bunker here as well. Um, and we'll come over here with the engineer. And then what I'll probably do here is I'll probably swap this Jaeger squad out. Let me jump this Jaeger squad out. Pop this one inside. And then I will just retreat this one back to base for the time being. Because we can't get the medic truck out. You're doing okay. Took our Jaegers are smashing those. See, see how good the Jaegers are against the, the standard Volks there. Completely messing them up. Now we could call on our reinforcements right now. Um, I guess we'll do that. Though that's going to surpass the population cap. So we're now 9 out of 5 population cap calling on these extra troops. Now, as we're playing against another German, he might be able to do a machine gun another Panzer Jaeger 1 in a second himself. So we've got to be careful about that. Um, right, this Jaeger squad's healed up. Let's push you forward. And then let's just try and push down the right hand side. We want to push right because we want to try and get this uh, supply drop as quickly as we can, hopefully. Uh, let's get all our units to come down here. And then move this engineer squad maybe to push this point here. That's all upgraded there. Let's upgrade that point. I've got all the supply, got all the center points, which is good. And the Panzer Jäger is doing some nice work now. So we'll get the Panzer Jäger to push across the bridge. And uh, we'll get the Panzer Jäger to focus down the upgrade points. Yep, yeah, doing well. I think he's hitting that yet. Yeah. The Panzer Jäger one's got nice range there. And I think we're going to activate um, Blitzkrieg as well on our troops. It gives us more uh, that ability there. So our units are going to fight harder. 50% more damage. We might be able to crush these units here really quickly here now because we activated that ability. There we go. Let's push forward. Let's upgrade tier 2 now finally. There we go. Um, I'm going to probably retreat you and you. And this guy got bet 1, which is great. Focus that squad there. We're pushing this side. Let's jump you out of the house. And rush you around over to this side as well. Oh, there's a misclick. Let's come over here. There we go. And we get that supply there. Brilliant. Let's capture his point outside his base. Move forward. Hands the Jaeger one. Move up. Okay. Let's check our back to base over here. Everyone's getting healed up nicely. So we're still population capped. Kind of. I mean, we could get another Jaeger on Engineer Squad, but I kind of want to save that, I think. Make sure we move this Jaeger Squad slightly back so that hopefully that MG bunker doesn't start hitting him. Let's check over to the other side. There we go. We've got the bunker down there as well. Brilliant. Right, these guys are now fully healed up. Let's bring them back up to the right-hand side. And let's tick up to Tier 3. As we can afford to do so. And now we're going to try and uh, lock down this point and build some bunkers here right outside his base and try and get a nice strong point here if we can. Let's keep creeping the uh, Panzer Jaeger forward. Another resource drain is just crept behind. So we'll get this healthy squad here to go cap that. And I think now I'm going to actually... Now I've got... I've, I've, I've teched up. I'm actually going to get a uh, the ambulance now and bring it over here so we can reinforce our troops. So we haven't got to retreat any troops back to base. And the Panzer Jaeger one, just creep, keep creeping the Panzer Jaeger one up. 
Try and take out anything we can find. Move the machine gun guy out. Yeah, guess what can go forward. Let's upgrade that point. And then we'll upgrade these bunkers as soon as we can do. Right. I'm going to retreat you because we don't want to lose any squads. And then here comes the blitz, which is good. And what I might do is I might reinforce the left side since we, uh, we haven't got many men over there now. So we'll bring some men over there. Where are you going? There we go. Let's retreat the engineer squad. He's looking quite low. And you can see here the... Getting, repairing that Panzerjäger one with the blitz truck as well. So it's not only just infantry, it is uh, vehicles as well. Right, this Panzerjäger needs to get over and assist a teammate. We're going to activate this again. Increase the damage from everybody. We're going to back away this Jäger squad so he can heal up. Jäger squad on the left hand side. Let's keep tracks of him. And uh, instead of retreating him, I'm just going to swap him over to the other side. And now, because we're doing so well, let's just get a Tiger tank out and finish the game off here. We don't need it. He's got, you know, something that's good against infantry and buildings. Against everything. So I like game tank. Let's bring you out and finish the game off. So yeah, we're just swapping this other, the weak Jaeger squad over to the right-hand side rather than treat him so he can get healed up with the medic, medic truck. Move the MG back slightly. Um, and let's upgrade this here. Let's creep, creep the... There's the Jaeger forward. So it seems we can actually, um... If we keep, we can keep potentially calling on more reinforcements and just have weight and loads of units as well, even if we're pop cap, which is quite nice. So that's a way to break the pop cap. And let's go have a look at the tiger rolling up. Here it comes. Little zoom in there. Here we go. Right, he's really pushing this left side at the moment. Right, we're gonna we're probably gonna have to retreat here with this squad. He's trying his best, but he's outnumbered, so we're gonna retreat you. And uh, it's okay if we lose that one point over there because we're dominating so much, and we're gonna win victory points anyway. He's gonna have to react to his base getting pushed over here in a second anyway. So. Get the Panzerjäger one to hit. Let's actually then now let's activate Blitzkrieg since we're attacking the base. Let's try and kill the next unit. Let's engineer squad. Oh, that's a bit of a misplay there. Run that quickly, retreat the engineer before he get killed. Let's Jäger, let's go over here. There's the Tiger. Let's get you up there. Come on, go, 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 go. Push, get you in the fight. These Jägers are pretty much fully healed up. Let's move them to here. He's really trying his best there to try and break through, but we're going to probably kill his base. He needs to defend his base. He's not. Just fine. And then we'll just call these guys back and retreat them so they don't lose. But there we go. He's too busy trying to push out the left side of his base. His head headquarters is going to go down and we're going to win the game. Let's activate this again. There we go. And GG, we win the game. So there you go. Let's go. Jaeger infantry are incredibly strong. And look, we got ourselves some supply, uh, some coins, and a token. And did quite a few dailies. Brilliant. There so, we go. there guys go. I hope you found that interesting. Now you can maybe employ some of those strategies in your own game in World War Commander. I'll be making more videos for this game in the future. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please you can maybe consider subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.